Hi and welcome to the Windows 8 videos. What I'm going to do in this video is talk about how to get photos or pictures off of your phone and onto your Windows 8 computer. A lot of the time people struggle with getting photos from their phone to Windows so they can store them because after a while you need to make some space available on your phone. So there are several ways that you can do this. But what I'll do is I'll just cover the easiest way. So it really depends on what phone you use. There's a different method to getting photos off of an iPhone as opposed to a Samsung Galaxy or a Windows phone for example as well. But there are a couple of methods that you can use which are really going to work regardless of the phone you use provided it's a late model smartphone. And by that I mean you can install apps on your phone. So the first and easiest way to get photos from your phone is to use the cable that your phone came with. So your phone will come with a cable, one end will be a USB connection and the other end goes into your phone, it's just a small end. And what you do is you plug your phone into your computer and, and then all we need to do is start Windows Explorer and your phone will actually appear here. Now with an iPhone it's going to work a lot better doesn't always work that well with the Samsung Galaxy but I have created extensive videos on how to connect to Samsung Galaxy so feel free to go and watch them and get a better idea of how to do it if you are having problems with your Samsung Galaxy however if it does connect all you do is click on it or expand it in this area here go down to internal storage and then just click on this DCIM folder now regardless of what phone you have or camera for that matter, you'll always see this DCIM folder and that's the folder that your photos will be stored in, whether you've got a Samsung Galaxy or a Canon camera, they're usually always in this DCIM folder. So if we double click on that, we just click on the next folder and you can see here I've got a whole bunch of photos available. Now what I can do from here is simply drag and drop to my desktop or I can click the first one click the bottom one while holding the shift key and select all of them or I can use the tick boxes to select which ones I like and then from there I can just do a right click copy and then go over to my pictures section right click and paste that will be available if you select copy if it's grayed out it means it hasn't copied properly and you will need to recopy again so that's really the easiest way there are other ways like for example Dropbox which uses the cloud which is another fancy term for the internet and I have videos on that as well so I won't go over that in detail here so feel free to just jump across and watch my Dropbox videos for Windows I've also created Dropbox videos for Apple and Samsung so there's more than enough information there to help you get your photos off of your phone if you are feeling a little bit confused but this is by far the easiest and simplest way but it does require that you manually do it if you set up something like Dropbox it will automatically happen for you which makes the process a lot easier so feel free to explore and find out which is the best method for you